How in the fuck are we doing today, boys and girls? Now, before I get into this one, um, I want to take just a minute and say something. Today, my daughter graduated high school, and this is a little shout out to her that I couldn't be more proud of you. You really came through an awful lot of hurdles throughout school and defied an awful lot of people and overcame so much. And on this day, you graduated high school. I'm proud of you, girl. I really am. I really am, Mary. I'm very proud of you. All right. Let's get into this shit. What are we going to do today? Well, I got a list that sits next side of me, and I write down ideas as to what I want to do with videos, and where am I going to go with videos, and what am I going to be doing. And the day before yesterday, yesterday, I was very sick. Um, I came, I had a seizure, and what happens is my sugars come from 300, and they come smashing down into the 49s, and that, to me, is almost life-threatening. It is a god-awful feeling. I, if anybody's a diabetic out there, they can contest to as to what it feels like. It is, you just want to die. Well, that happened to me, and it was so bad. To the point where I was literally out of it for almost three hours, and when I came to, my dog was over me, licking the sweat off of my face, and I had no idea where I was, but I was curled up on the floor in the bathroom. It took me the better part of yesterday to try to gain composure, and I felt like a train wreck. But I was sitting here watching the drama unfold with everything and everybody, and I have to laugh because we all go through it throughout our lives and stuff like that, and mine is no different than anybody else's. The drama, the drama that is created around us in high school. Unfortunately, I got kind of spared in this department because I went to an all-boys school for, for high school and stuff like that. And we didn't really have much of a drama. Ooh, Cindy Woohoo is, 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 is sleeping with the senior. No, we didn't have anything like that, so I was kind of spared. And by the time I got out of high school and was in the real world, it was kind of a shock as to what gossip and drama was all about. And through my journey and time throughout the restaurant world, the drama in a restaurant is by far some of the next best shit that you'll ever hear in your life. What happens is is that it's a bunch of people who sit around after work and get shitty and usually end up going home with the waitresses. I don't know what it is, but a waitress finds a cook who's been sweating and reeks of grease and smoke for the past nine hours. It's the biggest turn on, I think there possibly is she's sleeping with him he's going home with her he's going home with her oh my god anyways the drama goes on through through all of that and it was some of the best I've ever seen I get older more mature in my life the drama seems to settle down I start to have kids I've got older kids now And I have to laugh because we all sit down when we come home. My little kids come home from school. My middle comes home from school. 
my wife comes home from work. We have dinner. And then we're all sitting on our tablets or cell phones or whatever the hell me may have you. And we're all sitting there gossiping with the other end of the person on the other end. My little seven and eight year old are sitting there gossiping with their friends about who did what on the playground. My high school girl is talking about the high school drama and boys. My wife is talking about drama at work, the crap at work. And then you come to me, who's a stay-at-home father. Doesn't really get into too much stuff other than I can sit here and talk to you and tell you about what goes on on the streets around here. But that's another story, and we'll get into that some other day. So the only thing that I have to compare with life in drama and gossip is YouTube. YouTube drama is by far some of the funniest shit I have ever seen in my life. And Twitter is this is the escape alley for that whole thing. You get direct messages. Hey, did you hear what video he made? Hey, Jimmy Bob, Sue, Joe Bob just made a, a, a video about Cindy Woohoo. That's gonna be some good shit. You gotta go check it out. It's fucking great. <laughs> it really is some of the most quacked out stuff I've ever seen in my life. YouTube drama. We sit here and we don't claim to have anything to do with anybody else. But yet, we all seem to be friends in some shape or form or another and get caught up in people's drama. And I go back and I listen to and remember what I said about reading text. And I got into a little bit of a, a pickle last night where... One, I was still not feeling well from my seizure. And two, I didn't read the full text. I didn't read the full message. And I thought this gentleman was attacking me. And what it, what happened was that it wasn't. It wasn't the case. He was actually defending me. And I felt god-awful about the whole situation. But it's that type of situations where YouTube drama is by far the best. Because we can sit here behind a screen and, and, and think we are whoever we want to be. We can create the most perfect situation and pretend we are somebody else. Because what are the chances of, of us ever actually running into each other? I'd like to think that some of the people that I've met on YouTube, I'm, I would love to go out and have dinner and have a drink and, and, and bullshit with, but and that's not the case with a lot of it. But the bashing and is relentless. And people don't like you because they don't like your opinion and they gotta smash you all day long. And you sit here and you watch it unfold. The lies, the stories, the scams, the crap that's all being said. Excuse me. Mr. Truck? Bike? Motorcycle? Whatever. What the fuck that was. Oh, where was I? Yeah, problem with getting old, senility sets in, and no, and it's just not very good. But it, it's funny watching it and how we get so emotionally wrapped up in in it that how we how it affects us. Somebody's comment. Of the, along those lines that can make or break your day. <laughs> just, just go into somebody's comments sometime and just sit there and read the comments. Don't get involved. But just read them. 
of how they bash a person because they don't believe in what they say. They bash a person because they don't like them. They bash a person because they're jelly butt hurt. It just seems like today that there is just so much negativity as opposed to good or a positive. Great video. Nice job. Well done. Well said. Instead, it comes along the lines of drink bleach, you suck, die. It brings you into a whole nother aspect of life. But anyways, I just... Does anybody else see that too? YouTube drama? It's got to be big because there is a fuck ton of videos out there about this crap. And the shit is funnier than hell. On that note, my dog's going to go fuck up a squirrel. I'm going to go make dinner. I'm going to curl up and watch some YouTube drama. And I think I'll call it a day from there. On that note, everybody, be good, Haggy family. Be good, my friends. And we'll be talking to you very shortly. I promise one gentleman that I'll get him a kitchen nightmare, and I will. I promise saying that for a while and somehow or another I get going on these tangents somewhere else but not surprised be good my friends enjoy the weekend peace out my friends bye bye